Julia's revenue is R of T thousand dollars per month, where T is the month of the year. Julia had made three thousand dollars in the first month of the year. What does three plus the definite integral from one to five of R of T dt equals 19 mean? And we have some choices. So like always, pause the video and see if you can work through it. All right, now let's work through this together. So they tell us that she made $3,000 in the first month and we also see this three here. So that's interesting. Maybe this, they represent the same thing. We don't know for sure yet. But let's look at this definite integral. The definite integral from one to five of R of T dt. This is the area under this rate curve. R of T is the rate at which Julia makes revenue on a monthly basis. So if you take the area under that rate curve, that's going to give you the net change in revenue from month one to month five, how much that increased. And so if you add that to the amount that she made in month one, well that tells you the total she makes from essentially time zero all the way to month five. And they're saying that is equal to 19. So let's see which of these choices are consistent with that. Julia made an additional $19,000 between months one and five. Choice A would be correct if you didn't see this three over here. Because just the definite integral is the additional between months one and five. But that's not what this expression says. It says three plus this is equal to 19. If it said Julia made an additional $16,000, well then that would make sense because you could subtract three from both sides and you'd get that result. But that's not what they're saying. Julia made an average of $19,000 per month. Well, once again, that's also not right. Because we already just said, from, from the beginning, from time zero, all the way until the fifth month, she made a total of $19,000. Not the average per month is $19,000. Julia made $19,000 in the fifth month. Once again, this is not just saying what happened in the fifth month. This is saying we have the $3,000 from the first month, and then we have the additional from month between months one and month five. So that's not that, so this better be our choice. By the end of the fifth month, Julia had made a total of $19,000. Yes, that is correct. She made 3,000 in month one, and then as we go between month one to the end of month five, to the end of the fifth month, she has made a total of $19,000. Let's do another one of these. So here we're told the function k of t gives the amount of ketchup in kilograms produced in a sauce factory by time in hours on a given day. So this is really quantity as a function of time. It isn't rate. What does the definite integral from zero to four of k prime of t dt represent? Once again, pause the video and see if you can work through it. Well, k of t is the amount of ketchup as a function of time. So k prime of t, that's going to be the rate at which our amount of ketchup is changing as a function of time. But once again, when you're taking the area under the rate curve, that tells you the net change in the original quantity, in the amount of ketchup. And it's the net change between time zero and time four. So let's see which of these choices match up to that. The average rate of change of the ketchup production over the first four hours. No, that does not tell us the average rate of change. There's other ways to calculate that. The time it takes to produce four kilograms of ketchup. So does this represent the time it takes to represent four kilograms of ketchup? No, this four is a time right over here. This is gonna tell you how much ketchup gets produced from time zero to time four. The instantaneous rate of production at t equals four. No, this would be k prime of four. That's not what this integral represents. The amount of ketchup produced over the first four hours. Yep, that is exactly right.